Hello everybody, this is All South Gaming, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Valkyria Chronicles 4. In the previous episode, we uh, took on a snowball fight, where we had to uh, do our damnedest to try to not get killed by a certain crazy Valkyria, and then tried to feed a BS story that the commanders of the squad totally didn't buy. Anyways, uh, last episode we also earned some new weaponry that I think we should take a look at. Because, uh, probably gonna need at least one of those. Let's see, for Hannah, and I'm just gonna say this right now, you're gonna need to, with the guide I'm using, you're gonna need to make some shots at uh, enemy soldiers. So, it probably wouldn't be a bad idea to go for a more accurate, uh, Lancer. Let's see. 600, 150. Eh. It's only an upgrade towards the one that I've currently got equipped. In terms of versus armor. But I'm gonna need her for versus personnel, so... Pass. Uh, let's see, what were the other ones? Ah, the Galleon X5D is not an upgrade to what I have in any way. Except to the Galleon. Ah, well. Let's see, was the last one... Well, there was a sniper rifle that we got, but meh. And there's that. I guess the last one was... Yep. It's only an upgrade in terms of shots, if I'm being honest. It was also the MPXD, but meh. Oh well. Well, with that, we checked out all the weapons we acquired in the last couple of episodes. Let's get back to the story, then. Not this story. This story. Now, like with the previous two ones, I will be using a guide. At the beginning of every turn, I will be pausing the recording, and I will be reviewing said guide for that turn. Just letting you know that ahead of time. Our commander wasn't satisfied with the picnic story. I suppose they can't all be bestsellers. I mean, did you really expect him to fall for that? He's not that stupid. Mock battle between us and the commander will be done on this snowy mountain. I'm sure you are aware how outclassed we are. And yet somehow we'll still come out on top. And somehow this is the exact same mountain that we had to climb across several chapters ago. However, defeating the commander would be a perfect ending to this underdog story. If we can bait out our opponents and isolate them, we may be able to take them out with well-timed attacks. We learned a thing or two through that hellish picnic of ours, so why don't we show them precisely that? I suppose. Anyways, as for positioning our units, Rosetta will be right here. Azusa is going to be here. Zyga will be right here. Simon up here. Hannah will be right Let's here. Rita will be here. Niej over Gotta here. And Connor will be right here. All right. Now, it should be noted, all of the uh, squad leaders that we would normally have are on the enemy team. And both Minerva and Claude are capable of giving orders. Something to bear in mind. Shall we go, then? <laughs> this will be a treasure trove of writing material. A knockdown drag out with Claude and the gang? Yaha! I'm gonna go buck wild! But, but their special bullets are designed to hurt really bad. I don't know about this. Oh, don't complain, Yez. You're gonna spend most of your time pretty much at base. 
got nothing to worry about, Nage. After all, we did just beat the black tank. I, I mean, the black tank sized bear. And even that blizzard couldn't stop us. Oh, you're right. Sorry, Raz. Just this once, I'm gonna have to kick your ass. All right, let's get to it. And with that, I'm going to pause the recording and I will see you guys once I have reviewed the first turn. Okay, turn one has been reviewed. So, first and foremost, mm -hmm. no problem. we're going to grab Rosetta. I found you. Going to move her along this way and shoot at this Ragna crate. We're going to keep running her along this way, head down this ladder. Climb up this one. And we're going to run her along this way, and her basic purpose is to act as a spotter for Connor. Well then... Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Right. Grab Connor, move him up this way, next to the sandbags, then we're going to set up into targeting mode. And we are going to try and hit the elite sniper. You let your guard down. Going to put him away, then we're going to set him up right here. Then, we're going to grab Hannah. Let's see some spirit. Them on. We're going to go this way. And we're going to blow up this fence. Then we're going to set her up right next to Connor. After that, we are going to first save... Because we're going to be picking the edge. I'm going to have her take a shot at the elite engineer. Hit. I, I did it. Then we're going to start her moving forward. And set her up right about here. After that... I'm gonna grab Connor again. Right, right. I'm gonna set him up right about here. And then we want to try and go after the elite trooper that's right about here. While also trying to get the Ragnar crate at the same time. And despite falling off the bridge, that actually doesn't kill him. Gonna end his turn. Right, right. Then grab him again. Hmm. Okay, let's pull back a little bit. Then we're going to want to try and go for the Scout Elite. You let your guard down. On to the next. And then we're going to end the turn here. Then we're going to grab Rita. Here I go. I'm going to finish this guy off. Then we're going to run her forward. 
and into the enemy camp. Not going to capture it yet. Then we're going to have to take command with Azusa. Follow your nose. Let's work together. I'll go with you. Gonna grab Zyga. And we're gonna grab Hannah. Let's work together. I got your back. We're gonna capture the camp. Send to success. How in the world are they moving with so much unity? Like they took a level in badass. I knew it. Something big did happen out there. Huh. I don't know what lit a fire under their asses, but I like it. All right, then. Time to get serious. Y'all ready for this? No, I do not want to retreat. I want to crouch. Okay, not even going to try for that. Instead, we're going to go for this. You're mine. Did not kill him. That is unfortunate. But it shouldn't be an issue. Hopefully. Anyways, uh, with our last power, or last bit of CP, we are actually going to have Connor evacuate. I know that seems weird, but trust me, this is what we need to do. I believe that is probably Raz moving up. Okay, yeah, like I said, wasn't going to be an issue. Kai, I believe. Okay, with that we have hit turn two, and I will pause the recording and be right back once I have reviewed the guide. Okay, reviewed turn two. First and foremost, we're going to grab Rita. Gonna move her along this way, and we're going to shoot this Ragna crate. Enemy spotted. Enemy yep. spotted. Gonna head over this way. We're gonna crouch down next to these sandbags, have her jump over them, then immediately crouch down and end our turn. Uh, let's see, then we're going to take command with Azusa. Let's work together. I got your back. Gonna have her grab Zyga and I'll Hannah. Then we're gonna have her get moving. I smell the and then we're gonna have her take shots at the trooper elite. There. Oh, oh, oh. 
Ah, she was supposed to kill him. Because there's no way I'm getting past her with her HP that low. Uh, I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Let's try this again. And I made sure to make a save this time. Let's work together. I got Let's work back. together. I'll go with you. Hopefully this time she should actually be able to do it. Sniff them out. Plus we got Zyga as support. Leave it to me. There we go. Now then, we're going to want to book it up the hill, but be careful because Kai is going to be waiting to start Thanks shooting at you. Back. See? Where's Raz? This isn't good. No clue where Raz is. Let's make another save just to be on the safe side. Because uh, next move is supposed to be going after Raz with Zyga. Hey Raz, check this out. And I have no clue where he is, so I'm just gonna use this there they are. to look around and try to find him. Could be he never moved forward, which is more than likely the case. There he is. Oof. That's going to cause some problems, because there is an elite sniper right here. Well, my only possible option would be to try and get all these headshots and kill him. I could also attempt to move in and blast him with a flamethrower, but I'm not too sure how that'll work out. Well, only one way to find out. You're going nowhere. There. Ah, damn it. Ow, ow. Hmm, mm, 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 mm. Hmm. Give me one moment, guys. I need to review something. Okay. <clears throat> We're back. I reviewed something. I may also made a slight change. We can still pull this off as is. It's going to require a bit of luck, though. So, I actually reloaded, went back. For some reason, it only took 12 shots instead of 15 headshots for me to kill Raz with Zyga. I still didn't do it or pull it off, but I might still be able to do this. Just going to require a little bit of luck. So, next, we're going to take Rita. Going to run her along this way, trying to stay out of Kai's line of sight. And not get caught on this tree. Going to crouch her here. Then both her and Zyga are going to take shots at Raz. Normally, she would be trying to take shots at the Elite Trooper. If you don't manage to kill that Elite Trooper using Rita, that's fine. If you do, that's great. In this case, we instead used her to uh, take out Raz, which is always good. Well, in this situation, it's good. Now then, this is the point where we might need to use some save scumming to take care of this. Because we need to make some headshots with a Lancer. Let's see some spirit. There 
And it has to be headshots, because anything else will take more than uh, one shot. Yep. That's why I'm saying we're going to need to do some save scumming. Because we need to pull this off, or the plan is screwed. Not foobar, but screwed. Okay, finally managed to get Kai, but guess what? That's not going to be the last of the lucky shots we need to make this turn. Anyways, with Kai down and their CP reduced, we're going to move Rita up this way. And have her crouch down here. Then, we're going to take Azusa. We're going to have her run this way. Then we're going to have them take care of the Elite Sniper. He's already dead, Rita. Or I guess not dead, because mock battle, but hey. Then, going to make another save. Because we basically have to repeat what we just did with Kai to that... Uh, to that elite trooper down there. Knock him down. I'll Although, thankfully, she did it first time round. Didn't even break a sweat. Yay. Then we're going to move her down here, capture the camp. Gonna move her right here. And end the turn there. Then we're gonna use one CP to call in Connor from reserves. That's why we had him retreat earlier so we could get him moved up here without having to spend a ton of CP, you know, moving him. And then we're gonna end our turn and I'm getting a phone call from someone in Reno, Nevada. Weird. Oh well, doesn't matter. I have no idea who it is. I must lead or no one will. All units, follow my lead. Yeah, and because they have Minerva and Claude, they can issue orders. Let's see who she grabs. Oh god. Those three are grouped rather close together. Please don't kill them all. Let's see, Grenadier, which I believe is actually Riley. And a Lancer with a Mortar Lancer. And she's going to run right past all of us. Uh-oh. Thank you, Tree. You've made her miss, even though her AI probably should have seen that one coming. Whatever. We do, however, have Riley coming up, and Minerva running past us distracted our other people. Here it comes. That's a problem. Rita's down. <laughs> and I kind of need her to revive Raz because she's our only engineer. What? I'm not too worried about that. As a matter of fact, the friendly fire just just annihilated it. His uh, annihilated Riley. Problem is, I'm not going to be able to use this because I'm going to have to reload and then use that last CP to get Rita out of the way. Crap. Uh, 
Uh, I'll be right back. Okay, then. We're back. I use the CP to move Arita back and have her be extra safe. Uh, use her Ragnate to heal up. Let's hope this turn goes better. So far, so good. Going pretty much the same. She didn't use her... Didn't use her grenade launcher, but that's fine. Probably would have ended up hitting the tree anyways. Sits up right there. Yeah, she launches at Zyga. He goes down. Azusa somehow dodged that. I can't do this. But Rita's not down, so she can revive him. Right, that guy takes a shot at Hannah, blasts her out of the camp, but also hurts Riley somewhat. Not as badly as he did last time, but mm, beggars can't be choosers. I don't know why he felt the need to dodge. There was no way he was getting past all those barriers. Here comes the Mortar Lancer, but he's not going to be able to do anything. Okay. Good. We managed to survive this. Uh, I certainly hope I don't need that extra AP or CP. But only one way to find out. If we really did need it, we'll have to adapt and overcome. So, with that, I'm going to pause the recording here. And I will uh, see you guys once I review this turn. Okay, I've reviewed the turn, and we got a little bit lucky with the uh, whole healing Rita thing, because it turns out that's what the uh, person's going to do with Rita, so... Yeah, saved ourselves some CP, actually. But, first... Gonna make a save. Gonna grab Hannah. And we need to take out Riley. Over here. Okay. Then we're gonna run her down this way into the chasm. And we're just gonna run her as far as we can while keeping her to the side so she doesn't get in anybody's way. Then we're gonna grab Rita. Can do this. Get through this. Gonna switch over to the revival Ragnade. We're going to revive Raz, uh, Zyga. You saved me. Then we're just gonna run her down into pretty much the same location that Hannah's in. Make sure she's off to the side. Let's see, then... We're gonna grab Zyga. Now, they do try and take out... Well, they do take out both of the Lancers, but... Unfortunately for me, both of them, in their case, were out of, uh, cover. Understood. The second one behind him isn't. There they are. 
but I can at least try and take out one of them. They also happen to be lined up to get headshots on both of them. Let's see, all right, move them there. Then we're gonna grab Connor. Right, right. It's all research, really. Well, thankfully, I don't need you for any anti-tank stuff. There's a trooper elite, but can I actually hit him from this spot? I don't think I can. Yeah, no. No, I'm not gonna go for it and risk blowing us all up. Okay, uh, we are then going to grab... Hmm... Gonna grab Connor again. Now, what genre? Gonna move him forward just a bit. See if we can't hit that trooper from here. It's not a surprise attack, so there's a chance he could dodge, but it's not a big deal if he does. There. But he didn't. Which is good for us. Uh, let's see gonna want Connor to be pushed up right against the wall here, if I recall correctly. Because I'm pretty sure that's the only angle we're gonna be able to get a shot off on that elite sniper. But, first and foremost, we're gonna grab Azusa. And we're gonna try and take out that engineer, which I'm going to make a save for. Understood. I only need two shots, but that is a small target to hit. You're mine. Yes. Let's keep moving. And we're gonna move her about here. Where she's pretty much out of the way. And we're gonna grab Connor. Now, what genre? We're going to try going for this Sniper Elite. There. Got him. Okay, then. We have an extra CP to work with because the guide ended up having to use two to take out the uh, trooper on the bridge. So I'm just going to use that extra CP with Rita. Here I go. To resupply Connor because he's probably going to need it. And I may as well use some Ragnate to heal Azusa. turn there, and then I'm just going to end my phase, or end this phase here. Okay, Minerva's going to be making her way over here. And, of course, she's going to capture the camp. But that's fine. Uh, 
I'm worried about that Lancer, but I don't think he's going to be able to do too much damage, except for maybe capturing that camp. Yep. But I'm not worried. Yeah, we don't have to capture all the camps, we just have to capture the base camp. Okay, then. Well, as is usual, I'm going to pause the recording here, and I will be right back once I have reviewed this turn. Okay, then. Reviewed the turn. First things first, we gotta grab Connor. What genre? I'm gonna have him move this way. There they are. I found the enemy. We're gonna get him under this cover. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna try and take out this scout elite. There. That is unfortunate. Guys, we need to take him out in that shot. Well then. I'll be right back. Okay, then. Managed to kill the sniper this... Uh, not sniper, scout this time. Which has effectively removed that They're grenadier's gone. ability to, well, spot us. I was wrong. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, so there was one enemy who could see me. I don't know who it was. Probably that scout over there. Inspiration strikes. But that's fine, because I'm gonna take this grenadier elite out right now. Better not miss this one. You let your guard down. And apparently he had a Ragnarite right next to him, so okay. Ah, oh boy. Well, hopefully that little snafu doesn't screw us over entirely. I don't think it will. Now then, we are going to take command with Azusa. Follow your nose. Let's work together. I got you. Let's work together. I got your back. I'm gonna team up with Rita and Hannah. I'm gonna climb up, and then we're gonna follow Connor. Shouldn't be too hard, just look for the craters in the snow. Ah, yeah, it was probably that stupid scout. That probably shouldn't have even been able to see us. Okay, I can actually save myself some AP here. Or CP. Well, actions. And shoot with Azusa myself. Then I'm going to grab Rita. I'm going to resupply Connor. I'm going to move her up so she can spot the elite trooper over there. But going to keep her, you know, out of his line of sight. So she doesn't get shot by him. And we're going to grab Connor. What genre? Looks like my time to shine. I'm gonna go for the elite trooper and hope he doesn't dodge. Take aim. Or survive. Which he does neither. Good. And let's just grab Connor and move him a bit. Then we're gonna grab Azusa. Moving up. Gonna move her forward. And then we're gonna try and take out this scout. Yes. Which actually saves us some CP because uh, in the guide they missed both with Azusa and with Hannah. 
But I'm going to leave Azusa right here. And I'm still going to use some CP to move Hannah and Rita up. Because, well, I'm going to need Hannah next turn anyways. As you know, we still got to take care of Claude and his tank, but I think I'm good to end the turn here. Let's see what they do. This guy's moving. Hmm, probably starting to head towards the base camp. And that's it. Okay then, well, you know the drill, I'll be right back. Okay then, we're back. And it's going to be a rather simple turn. First things first, we're going to take command with Azusa. Going to grab you. Hannah That's and Rita. Got you. And we're going to start moving up towards the enemy base camp. All that's left there is an elite trooper and Claude himself. Now, let's take care of this guy. Now then, we could just have Hannah take out Claude and then capture the camp and that would be the end of it, but uh, where's the fun in that? No, I think it's time we took back all these camps that they just took from us. That we originally took from them. Oh, right. Don't judge me, I'm in the right here. There they are. Yeah, of course she would dodge. But no matter, I've got plenty of CP to work with. As long as I save one for Hannah, it won't be a problem. Last shot, Nige. There we go. I got them. Let's see, although I don't think you have enough AP to quite reach the camp. Nope. So, for the first time in a long time, we're going to grab Rosetta and capture that camp. Then we're going to have Zyga backtrack and recapture that last camp. And now we're going to take Hannah, blow up the Hoffin, and capture the camp. Let's see some spirit. Yes, I know there's another camp right there, but meh. Didn't even break a sweat. Got and that is that. Ugh, all that save scumming. Ugh, but it worked out in the end. Might have to edit it out. We did it. We won. We defeated our own commander! Whew. 
Good work, everyone. I... I did it! Rask! I actually beat you! Yeah! You'd think I'd get some leader bonuses, but whatever. And let's review the story. Er, the last of the story. I definitely wasn't expecting this. I guess there might be some truth in your story about slaying bears. It's like your skills have improved overnight, not to mention your increased accuracy. But what really impressed me was your coordination. Your teamwork is off the charts. I guess there really is something to that picnic BS. Yeah, there's no denying you faced overwhelming odds and overcame them together. That much is certain. Question is what you faced. Uh, well, about that. Um, you see. Oh, come on, you went to all that trouble to hide the truth only to admit it. I guess your team building secrets are yours to keep. Ah, oh, well, at least you proved you're innocent. That report may not be the whole truth. It's true enough for me. The members of Squad E faced bears in a blizzard, then tried to pass it off as a picnic. I'm just gonna leave it at that. Claude. You got back safe and you're stronger than ever. I won't look a gift for Gavian in the mouth. The Ranger Corps is lucky to have you. And so is Squad E. It's an honor to be your commander. That's why I expect greatness from all of you. Yes, sir! Tained a mortar, Hartman NS5D. Brondel M105XD. Oh, Brondel was actually pretty good. And we... This, uh, the Witch's Knight for the Hoffin. <laughs> well, may as well at least take a look at the, uh... New gear. Okay. Let's see. Eh. It's got aim. Better than its usual counterpart, but... Well, fairly decent increase in uh, anti-personnel, so... Eh, I might consider using it. And... I've completely forgotten what the other one was. Oh, right, a Brondel. Hmm. Higher anti-personnel. But the range is slightly shorter. Let's see, 95... 112. Yeah, why not? And we may as well take a look at the decals, which I think we've actually been seriously neglecting. Let's see, Winter Witch, negative 100 resistance, accuracy versus personnel, nah. Hibiscus, Ooh, extra AP is never bad. We got the Witch's Knight, 6 defense, 3 accuracy. Yeah, why not? There, all set for the next battle. Well, with that, we have come to an end for this episode of Valkyria Chronicles 4. Rather chaotic, especially with some of the saves coming I had to do to be able to stick to a plan. But it is what it is. If you guys like what you see, and I wouldn't blame you if you didn't, please leave a like, subscribe for future content, don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notifications for when I upload, or to hit the straw pulling to vote for our next Let's Play. And please, leave a comment down below this video, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.